Gal show is ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. <laughs> With Johnny Domino and Big Data. shows us and our people and our constituents and our voters who you are you know what i mean don't ever be scared to come to get away like don't ever do that man but like, it also shows you that our votes are still needed yeah so he still wants to get his his point across to, to those who are of color as well yeah and i'm gonna tell you something important. These people that's running for politics are very smart. Like I think we might do three words of a day today, the day today, three words of the day today. Is that fine? You want to do three words? Can, can we do that? We make the rules around here, right? It ain't like you can't learn too many words. Learn them. All right. Yeah, but but shout out to Miss Miss Pamela Johnson. That that's who I uh, I'm rolling with. Uh, we also had Miss Lee and uh, Lightness come through. Uh, that was a big one. Very uh, interesting. Very big. We had security in here. <laughs> shout, shout out to Big A. Shout out to Big A, man. A <laughs> in the <Okay>. building. <laughs> Never knew. Well, I don't know. We get away. That ain't really uh, <laughs> far fetched. But everything went well. It everything did. went perfectly. Um, they, they, they came out and they let the people see where they were. You know what I'm saying? Man, we got to get out and vote, Baton Rouge. I know y'all hearing this like repetitious, but it's like when you don't vote, that is your vote. You voting with the other side. And, and I just and I just read that the midterms elections are the most important. People want to wait until the presidential election to go out and vote. That your vote really don't count at that point. Yeah. Because what you do now in the midterms are voting the people in who will vote for the president. Who will, you know, vote on laws. Our local laws and state laws are the most important at this point because they affect us directly. Well, yeah. Well, they write it here. And then yeah. it goes up to the next level. Then it goes to the next level. Well, then it finally gets to the president. You need good people writing and proposing the right laws and, it affects and us. fighting against slavery and stuff like that. Like it, it, we shouldn't even be talking about slavery in 2022. Man, somebody just said this gene was reading it, man. Dude say we got 500 years worth of patience for white folks and five seconds for our own. That's, that's the truth. That's the truth. And that's horrible. Yeah, and, that's, and that goes to show you the oppressor becomes the oppressed becomes the oppressor. 
Because we easily turn and see hate in, in, in our own kind. Yeah, our minds are shackled. And and mm-hmm. we, we go to Uncle Ruckus when it comes to the, <laughs> to, the to the other ones. Right. You know, we oh right. them good white folks ain't gonna do that. Yeah, you know, uh the, the, I don't know why the, the, the police probably covered the camera up because they right. wanted to hide this, this no dog. Ain't nobody check this out. <clears throat> Every time I've tried to hide from a camera I was stealing or some shit. I, like, I did something I didn't need to be doing. <laughs> I was doing. If I'm looking up for the cameras, I am up to no good. Like, I'm looking. Everything I do is going to be unsavory. And when you ask me about it, I'm going to plead the fifth. But that that shouldn't about? be coming from police officers. You know what I'm saying? Why are you trying to hide? Yeah. Let's jump into this topic. Did you see the 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 young black female that goes to Kentucky uh, University of Kentucky and uh, Ro, uh, what's her name Rosa something screaming out the N word. She saw she wrote, she sung a song. Nigger, nigger, nigger. Yeah. Nigger, nigger. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I heard her, and that goes back to the LSU student. Right. It happened right around the time the other LSU student was killed, Allie Rice. And she she was a tennis player. The LSU said they're gonna hold her accountable to the extreme. Allegedly. Yeah, but I had I we've heard nothing about that. Madison, that was her name. She mm-hmm. she wild, whatever her last name was. Yeah. Her. <laughs> Damn. What's up, my nigga? No, I'm coming, nigga. Nigga. I don't care if it's an A on it. E, yeah. uh, E-R, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they don't get a pass on calling me a nigga or no. anybody. No. And I don't I, care how, how many rice and gravy they done ate at the table. <laughs> my daughter dates a, 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 a young man. They've been together for 15, 14, 15 years. And guess what? About 10, 11 years but guess yeah. what? He has not used that word. Right, right, right. Coco say the word and his face turned red. Like yeah. that's embarrassing. Don't do that. That's right. a bad word. Yeah, my mother law, my mother law said I better stop. She be on my yeah, mama catching whooping. That's, that's not a good. I gotta try to stop using it, but I mean. Just the thing. Check this out, Dana. Uh, Gene did a whole series telling people the, the history of it that's and where right. it come from. And if you Google the nigga song. On YouTube, you'll hear them banjo playing, skull dipping, gut, they come on, turn, they be right. singing a run, nigga, run, run, nigga, run. So, boom, check this out. That girl, the girl name is, uh, what was it? I, I forgot Rosa? her name. Rosa is the racist, okay. all right? This is my thing. If they can give Kyrie Irving all this problem about saying his beliefs on the truth that he found, right? Why was it, wasn't this girl charged with a hate crime? First of all, and you can check it out on Getaway's page, she struck at her, she swung at her, she was attacking her, and she was using um, derogatory, derogatory racist. racist terms. That's a hate crime. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is to, to white folks and, and to the, uh, everybody else except black folks, check this out. If you want us to not beat, <laughs> strike, or do nothing back, won't y'all let your justice system do something with your people that's out of hand that don't know how to conduct themselves in public? We know a lot of y'all say it, but don't everybody just come out with it. Now, the girl had a drunk night. That ain't no excuse. I hate when people blame drunkness on something, because I ain't never drunk. I ain't never got so drunk I woke up with the wrong stuff, you know, or in the wrong place. I have been kind of drunk and lost in a couple of times, but I was around some good folk at it all times. comes time. out you. Whatever yeah. in you come out you. Yeah. Because that's a part that was a part of her though. You, you know, and that girl had so much restraint, man. And it's like thousands of people like, girl, I pray for your type of patience. You Even her friends. That mm-hmm. sat back and was recorded. Even the, the the person that was recording, she was. Oh, they podcasting. had a white girl finna get on. That, a white girl got in her. Yeah, she she invited to the, even, the even, cookout. Even yeah. her even her friend pulled her back. Yeah, just get just walk away. Everybody Come trying on, to yeah. defuse the situation. Even people of color. Yeah, not that's not of color. It's dead wrong, and and I'm gonna tell you this: I wouldn't support uh, a, a, a gang of black folk teaming up on one white person and calling cracker cracker cracker, and the person just standing down the whole time. Yeah. That's pussy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, keep your shit where it need to be, man. If you don't know how to uh, uh, handle yourself in public, like you seen the dude at LSU, then he be knocked out by like three white boys. <laughs> Bing, boom, pow, pow, pow. Stop playing with me. Who's next? No, anybody else? <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> People start, after the third when they start minding their business, man. Yeah, stay out of my way. <laughs> man, it's horrible, man. Check this out, y'all. The first thing you have to do to try to make a better world is start fixing yourself. Fix yourself. You can't change folk. You can't. You can argue all day online. There are people who have a whole different mind structure from yours. And that makes no sense to you. 
and it was evil and, and, and blatantly just clearly disrespectful and, and wrong. But they got people who were coming up there taking up for it. You know taking what I'm saying? Up for black people? No. Well, they had a that man. They I saw this. They had a black girl, a, 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 allegedly black woman, uh-huh. attacking the black girl for not whooping them. Oh, that makes sense. That don't make sense. No, I'm saying that makes sense that she would be upset with the the girl who was using restraint. No, it, it, don't it, make that make sense. No, I'm saying I can see that. Oh, you can see that happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Not not saying she should have been upset with her, but I can see why you know that came about that 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 um that situation. Yeah, and I mean you can understand that, but th- this my thing. Everybody has, should have the freedom of choice of how they want to react to things. You know what I'm saying? So, she like, you know, she showed restraint, Class. and that's what she wanted to do, and if, if that's what she wanted to do. <laughs> that's what I said too. We all over here how to whoop that trick. People but do what they want I'm going to take up for the sister because I don't have to stoop down because guess what? Even if she'd have beat the brakes on the offer. Still wasn't going to change her. It wasn't going to change her. They probably would have charged both of them and act like they had a fight when the girl and And she could be there on scholarship because we're going to lose all of that. Yeah, she was already working there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I feel like that that girl there is Kentucky's problem. You know what I'm saying? They should have charged her with a hate crime. And, man, we're going to dig down into it and see what we could do down here, man. We got You got to start pushing, man. It's voting time. Y'all got to realize a lot of things you can get done, man. We start sending letters, making calls, and put that pressure. Man, I'm going to tell you something. Them people be sitting in that office all day, and they get calls all day. But until that phone line is busy and you can't get through there, and that person that's in that mug stressed out because a million people done called and said they didn't do anything. When you get that, that whole following to come at their ass, <laughs> they get tired of that, man. Mm-hmm. They get tired of it. Like, we just want to go dig on the man. Um... At, at, uh, Lehigh, yeah, we're gonna do the twisted the, roll. Who held the, the child diploma? He freed the he diploma. Had. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go do the uh, mm-hmm. jigger city step, jigger train coming through. Jigger yeah, train. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Make your property value. Make, make, make your property value. Yeah, we be all in the digits called public servitude. Ain't gonna be on your sidewalk. <laughs> with, this with, is a public <laughs> sidewalk, and this is where we feel like being right. today. And we're going to be with sleeping bags. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Brown, I'm going you, girl. <laughs> That'd be raw. We just get to do a cookout in your front yard. In man. your front yard. So, yeah. so uh, over, the, over, the, over the weekend, I got a chance to sit with um, with a few loved ones who uh, who's locked up, who's incarcerated. Wipe your, your chin right here, dude. Come on, real one. Yeah, What's that? That little lip grease, you know, your lips popping so much. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. That man child. Were you looking to see where it was or were you trying to show them that they were popping? Try, yeah, yeah, popping. yeah, yeah. You see it. You yeah. see the gloss. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's about to run off my face. <laughs> no comment. Well, <laughs> I bleed the fifth after that. I, I was just trying to get you to get it off, D. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't dosing on you. Oh, I swear. Yo, what happened? It, it, it was all. Time. I think it was because I put this water yeah, on my right. and, and my lip had just yeah. automatically folded yeah. on my cheek. Yeah. Everybody need an excuse, but well. <laughs> Hot damn. Good Lord. On the money moment. All right, follow her at DCF first. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> Ain't that services? Follow her at DCF First Lady. Now this is what I want to know. Ain't getaway live and the getaway is joined. Oh, that's 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 that's, 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 that's crazy. That's who I that's the uh, Well don't say no name. That's either P or T. <coughs> Trying to wave at him. That's getaways, right? Yeah. And I'm uh, You got a yeah, it's still live. Okay. okay. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Hey, I ain't fussing about it. Right. Oh, good morning, Sonny, man. He said, good morning, ghetto. Ways, you have a beautiful and productive morning, man. I love my brother, man. He positive every morning, man. I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. So, but, back to <laughs> what we were talking about with the... What, the lip the, gloss on the bottom of your lip? Yeah. Follow oh. that DCF first lady. Uh-uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but, uh, no, follow my business page, though, Creo Foods, and see, you know, I have sea moss, and I, yeah. I, I do catering. Yeah. The holidays coming up. Shameless plug. She's going to post all her lip gloss pictures <laughs> on Dope Creo. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be turkeys and lip gloss, like turkey, cornbread dress and lip gloss. Nah, let me quit, man. But uh, he told shout out to the team, man. We did a, we did a, a great thing, but we need to uh, concentrate on uh, not concentrate. We need to follow the laws that affect our kids and also um, our incarcerated loved ones, as well as um, finding pathways for them to come home. Making yeah. the people who do have resources uh, accountable <clears throat> to making sure that those people get those resources. I have a friend, I'm going to court with him today, mm-hmm. did, uh, did some time, did 32 years, not just some time, 32 Jeez. years, that's 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 older than some of our viewers yeah. um, in, in prison. When he left, his daughter was a year old, he came home, she 34, mm. we, you know, we kids, so he got himself in a jam and very intelligent man, but sitting there talking with him like he needs somebody to help him through out this thing called freedom yeah you know he he needs some help with that so and and we we as a black person as black people need to start embracing those who have been thrown away just Mm -hmm. bottom line those who have been forgotten just we need to start embracing them, whatever that may look like, even drug addicts. Because yeah. at one particular point when we was growing up, you knew you knew Sally Mama smoked dope, mm-hmm. you know, but that didn't stop you from going and get Sally hair or combing Sally hair, mm-hmm. not even going and get her hair fixed, combing Sally hair, wiping her face when she needed to get the cross out of her eyes, making sure she was on the bus, you know, just mm-hmm. looking out for the people in your community. <laughs> you can't talk too much about Sally. We know Sally on dope. Sally doing her thing, but. Yeah. We, we we can only take care of the child to make it to make a life better for this child. This child really living in hell. Right. You know, right. So And that's a whole nother that's a whole nother way of living. Like people don't understand people who live with a or came up with a a parent that was addicted to drugs like or alcohol. Imagine being poor and then imagine somebody having an addiction added to your poorness. That's taking the last little bit of resources that y'all got, the little scarce stuff that you got. I'm talking about back in the day, back back in the day, they probably was selling the commodity cheese and the peanut butter and and paper food stamps. We just sell a little different, you know. Like everything got to go because mama or daddy got an addiction. So this this person here is working with nothing, and that's why I like what what what, what some of the constituents or the candidates said about bringing nurses social workers and, and psychologists back at like skill like the, the service workers to help the schools because think about it i got a class of 25 right D. I got one of these kids in here that needs special help he needs a little more help <clears throat> or she needs a little more help all right i gotta stop teaching help this kid out get across to him try to get them to simmer down and see what their needs are then I got to crank back up the, the learning process. But guess what? Everybody behind now. But if everybody I could, had the same problems that's going on. Yeah, but not, not that, just, let's just say if it was just one. I okay. still, it, the, his one, his, his, him or her problems still stop me from teaching the other 24 right. kids. If I could take this kid and send him to the nurse, to the psychologist, you know, to the social worker, so they can work out those special problems that I can teach the other 24. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like you can't put all this it's on the loose. teachers, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, I I, I like that part that uh, Miss Pam brought up about bringing, you know, the the, the workers back in there. Like uh, what she called them? I forgot what she called them. It's like service. Para, para, para professionals. It's something like that, but they need that in school. The community based. They need that in school. Yeah, because I, I, when I was coming into school, you know, you always had two two people in that class. Mm-hmm. You always had two people. They had in two class. people in your class. Not in high school. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what kind of school. class you was in? Under, under. I wasn't in no special <laughs> class. I graduated with honors. Shout out to Capitol High. We, 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 we run things over Fine. here. Fine. Shout out to the Capitol High. You going in the other little building, huh? <laughs> Y'all played Nintendo? No, but them was my friends. <laughs> yeah, I love them, Them man. was my friends. Yeah, them was my friend, mm-hmm. too. I think I was supposed to be in there. I feel like I was cheated. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you, you definitely was. Yeah. You needed to be in there, but just think about it, how you were a distraction to your kids. Oh, man, I feel bad for well, all you, my... To, your, yeah. to your, uh, your classmates, think about 
now it was it was one of you that was cutting up or maybe mm. two of you. Think about it now that we're at the times that we live in and everything is everybody's so hypersensitive. About six of them. So no, six. It, out of twenty six it might be twenty. And two won't really learn. And and six may want to really learn and mm. two of them dealing with a learning disability that they can't even focus no matter what's going on. Mm-hmm. So that's what you're looking at now. Um, you know, and it is important for us to pay attention to what's going on in the kids' school because I can see the difference with this, the schools, how when my kids went to school, how it is now with Coco. And I'm saying my kids, I mean them older ones like Kirsten and Kenny. Shout out to them. Um, <laughs> them, them what are you trying to say about Coco, man? What you no, say? I'm saying oh. good things about her because okay. she she excels. I, with my oldest two kids, man, I wasn't no good mama when it came yeah. to that because I was outside of the house most of the time. <laughs> I was I was doing my own thing. I was still running in the streets, still drinking and thugging and loving it. But I would say I was misled. Uh, I can't say misled. I just was I, I just was, was caught outside. up in my own yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't about being misled because <laughs> my mama was a teacher. My grandmother was a, a missionary uh, in church. So mm-hmm. I, I I I wasn't misled. Just or misguided. I chose my own path. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Yeah. You know, so I had my kids, moments. my kids, my kids, um, I, I didn't give them a better version of life. Coco get it better mm-hmm. and I still be fumbling and, and, and messing up with her with certain stuff. I, but I'm at a better place in life <laughs> right now with Coco. But my patience is, is not as, uh, my patience kind of thin. What Dana is saying is we we whoop the we whoop the older kids and Coco don't be catching whooping. <laughs> Basically, because My. she has a debate, she wants a debate, and I keep mm-hmm. telling her I'm not cursing. Yeah, cursing give you the freedom of speech over there. You ain't got I, that over here. Not, no, one time I used to crack heads around. That what you don't know. <laughs> My daughter saved it. Kill her like you killed us. <laughs> don't spare her. Uh-uh. I died for that one time. Uh, kill her. I like know that was Kennedy. Me. We know well, that was cursing. Cursed to say that? <laughs> yes, yes. Lord, and I, I man, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, with my first, my first, my grown kids, man, I whoop all of them. They still be telling me stories about the whooping. I'm like, I don't know, you be like, it, womp, damn, womp, womp. I know, man. You be like, I'm changing. I didn't say now. they no better. So they the age you was when you was beating their ass, yeah. thinking about them ass whoopers, and that yeah. make you feel bad. And then you see them if they have kids with their kids, and be like. Don't hit that baby. Yeah, don't do you pussy, pussy. Yeah, don't do that to that baby. You don't hit my grand baby, mm-hmm. but my grand, my grand cheering, they they advanced, man. These cheering different. My children don't even want cheering. They come out and learn how they know how to work the phone. As soon as they come they out, do. like they, they do. do, just the device age. Like these some smarter kids. You gotta watch them. Yeah, you gotta watch them, man. And uh, you know, now I'm more into what they're digesting like at one time we used to listen to all that old gangster stuff around them kids and they still get a little dose of it now but man i be on some uh Ari Lennox and Snow Aguilera like blues I be listening to all kind of I gotta keep my nerves calm you know cause the high energy it don't get you nowhere right. sometimes high energy is for certain situations it's certain times you're gonna need to use your high energy and turn up on everybody and Sometimes. anybody, you just gonna have to. No but passes. You, no passes. You got to preserve it though. You do. You got to preserve it. And I'm gonna tell you something. I can understand now at this age. Mm-hmm. At first, I felt like the girl that was heckling the girl about out of whoop that poop poop yeah. poop. But <clears throat> why you ain't whooper? Cause and, you say a nigga. See, why you ain't whooper? I wanted to say this today too, today. I'm glad this <laughs> came up. See, a lot of people ain't never been investigated by the feds. My first arrest was, was with Secret Service. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People don't know about having to get out of the way for 18 years and, and just go deal with whatever life gives you. And you, you, you know, when you go from up down to the bottom, man, imagine you waking up every day, we eating good, we doing everything. What you want to eat today? We go get whatever we want, we moving and grooving. That's right. See, a lot of people ain't been through shit. So they just like, yeah, I would have, and yeah, I could have, and yeah, I should have. But it's a point, dog, when them feds be on you, then your haters attacking, but you know you can't attack back because the feds got a microscope on you. You're already fighting a charge. You're out on one charge. You got this charge here, got this much time. Some stuff you're going to learn in life. And you tell me when y'all get there. I know some of y'all still going to be like, fuck that, fuck that I ain't done when you get there, it's going to be some times you got to get on out the way, Daniel. Oh, it's been many times. 
you gonna have to get out of the way. Mm. Uh, one, prime example, um, you know, when you start trying to do something productive or trying to, you know, do in in the kind of work I do. People might say, I'm the police. I'm on one crime scene. The man say, you a police? I, I looked at him. I say, my boy, I'm the police? Yeah. You, you, I think you need to research. That's rude. Don't tell you us know, that. Don't, like, I'm the police? Man, I'm t- I'm out here to keep the police from having to jam you up. I'm not that type of criminal. Yeah. I'm the other kind. Like, you know, I'm, I'm out <laughs> here to, to tell you what your rights are when they come out here. I'm out here Family to... Family support. To, 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 yeah. to, you know... Keep you from being so irate with them. Mm-hmm. Calm tip, tip, you know. Big A, what up, Big yeah, A? Big A said, "What's the big word for the day?" But we got we about coming three of that, We coming, <clears throat> we coming to that Big A. We got yeah. a lot going on. You know what else I don't like about? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I don't care, man. Dana, I realize that, and and I, I, I've been through this. Like I, I worked for this dude, and he was rich, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like his muscle, and so like. He, 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 me and him, he was hating on me behind a female, right? And it's like, I'll, I'll be thinking in my head, like, dog, you want to switch? Because I'll take the, the business and the money that you got, and you can have a female. And not saying that the girl wasn't worth did this and that, but I'm not tripping on her. Me and her just doing whatever, right? But in your line of work, <clears throat> I see people who got degrees. I see people who want to be this and people who want to be that man it's actually people who are envious of the way we came up you know what i'm saying and i'm not i'm not putting that on no just but i'm I'm seeing that in places like i'm seeing little people saying little stuff like uh about who people direct their attention to you never ask for that i never asked for that i never asked people to say like hey man believe in me i'm not no politician I just lived this life and I've been outside with these people and I've been dealing with these people my whole life. So I speak for my people. Right. And when you speaking for your people, I'm finding these college ed- educated people who want the acceptance from the streets that you have. You and there's other people who don't have that type of thing that want to have what you have. And it's making them feel a certain way type about you. But they don't realize you don't try to be who you are. You wake up like that. Authentic. Uh, authentic who I am. And that ain't the word for and the I, day. I'm pretty but, sure they heard that before. But this is the thing. I want them to know this. If I could have did it differently, I would have. I would have. I, w- I love my morals. I love my belief and I love the respect principles. I got in, in, in the principles and stuff that I carry. But if I could have been a well-off college educated kid like man I I wish I had a better upbringing don't be jealous of nobody's street credibility or the way people uh uh accept them when you and they got people who get into the paper and and mad at you because people don't love them what you want these people to love you because I you know you want to swap out for the paper you know what I'm saying I guess, man, it just be weird to me, D, and I see it a lot. I see it with me. That's just like, that's, <clears throat> but that's that's the saying that when you successful and you really beat the streets, you don't brag on what's, what what happened in the streets because you moved from that. You elevated. That's behind mm-hmm. you. That's 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 that pushed you to be in the position where you are. I I met Tony Lewis Jr. Um, in, out there in Washington D.C. Didn't know mm-hmm. the man had wrote a book because he never threw that around. Mm-hmm. You know taking us through Washington, D.C. Like, you, you'll you never know all the work that he's put in for his city because he don't brag on that. He brag on how he put his people on. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm on, I got this going on, but I connected my people to this person. This is what this person And here comes some nigga and with no connection. Like, like I wrote 13 books and yeah. I, I did this. And I, hey, you y'all, no y- y- y'all like me. Y'all give me no the love y'all give Tony Lewis. Man, sit your bitch ass down yeah. somewhere. Because, like, dog, nigga almost died to get to this point. Yeah. Nigga went to jail and I fought. sacrificed a lot. <clears throat> man, I'm talking about losing homeboys. Like, Suffering. Man, don't don't ever envy this shit. Find a way to get your children away from this shit, man. Because it's like people want attention and clout so bad that they can be living a great life and don't even see it. Because they want people to react to them on Instagram. And, man, that shit corny, dog. Like, I don't give a fuck who come look at this shit. I just get on here and do my thing because this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm at. This is where I've got right now. I'm building a media station and then people fucking with it, man. I Look, I didn't promote Getaways. I didn't push this shit. It just was a, a God-given 
That's what you need to get That's closer right. to. Get closer to God because a lot of this stuff I done by accident. It wasn't an accident. It you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was yeah. connection. Man, I didn't I didn't know get away no, gonna I do that. I was trying to let my people know where the people was so we ain't had to go yeah, deal with. Turn the spotlight on. You feel me? But it's my heart, homie. It's my heart and it's what I do in real life. It ain't what I do on social media. It's the people I help in real life, man. Cause they got man, they got dudes who mad because the genre of people who love me don't love them. And you better be with who loving you, nigga. Shit, you better, you better, like, uh, somebody made a point to me the other day and it broke down so much sense. You might have loved somebody, you might have been with somebody, but have you ever loved somebody to where you, you can't live without them? And I was like, no, I'm always free. Like, whoever mm-hmm. died, this, that, and the other, he mm-hmm. said, yeah. But what about the love that you hear about when one person died, a person died shortly afterwards? Mm-hmm. He said, because they couldn't live without each other. Their whole world was each other. Mm-hmm. And that made a lot of sense. Like, do mm-hmm. we, we we may love unconditionally, but have you ever been to the point where if this person did not live, that you would literally die? Mm-hmm. You know? I love my girl like that. Shout out to your girl. I love her. Yeah. Oh, Shout out to you for, for having that kind yeah. of love and capacity. I don't give fuck by none of these people. Heart. I ain't looking for no female. I ain't, yeah. I'm straight. That's, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, if I'm flirting with you, baby, I'm lying. I'm, I'm just flirting. I'm just flirting. Don't, I'm yeah, lying. don't, don't, don't. I love my that's, girl. That's just, that's, it's in me. Don't, don't, don't get mad. <laughs> and I think people, man, it'd it, it be really like, Dana, if you really pay attention to how, the, how everything works, like, nobody really original. They find people who popping and things that's popping, and then they run to that. Right. And then they try to go do the same thing, and then when the response ain't the same, they be like, "Well, damn, man, y'all, y'all messing with him. Why y'all messing with me like that?" Man, bro, I'll try to who discourage raised? you? you I'll try to discourage you because man. you got it. Because people gonna pay attention to you, and they're not gonna pay attention to them. So it's kind of you know they 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 like why why she got it, and why he got it all. Why this, that, and the third? Why it, it ain't even about that? It's- Watch out for the person that hate on every nigga that's got a little motion going. Cause what y'all don't understand is being at the top is hard at times. You ain't never been broke with twenty thousand dollars worth of bills. You see what I'm saying? Like you ain't never been. This, this a different type of broke than zero broke. Zero right. broke, you ain't got nothing to lose. Imagine having twenty thousand dollars worth of bills and you ain't got but twelve thousand dollars. Twelve. That's a different type of broke, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? Like you can't ever stop judging your life off another nigga motion and like what you're do comparing you. it to. You know what I'm saying? All that comparison, man, it, it leaves sour shit in your heart, man. And I, I, it's all love over here, man. I'm glad I come from nothing because every time I see a brother eating and making it, and I ain't gonna lie, I still love gangsters. People who live by code, people who live by law, and kept it 100 and took their lick. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to you because everybody turn a sucker. I got so many lawyer friends that's lawyers. Right. Ask your lawyer if niggas pussy. Yeah. Ask the DAs and your ask your public defender. Do niggas be keeping it real? Are the streets real? Man, it's more rats in the courtroom than anything. The streets fake fake, man. You got to get on from around there and build with your people. I'm building with my people. D my people. That's right. Eugene, my people. I'm building with my people. I'm not hating on nobody. I don't, ain't nobody doing what I do. And guess what? I invite another nigga to build the next ghetto ways, but be original. Be original at it. Be original. Find out what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing weak and go, go max Capitalize it out. Capitalize on it. Capitalize on it, dog. You ain't gonna get no hate from me. I'm gonna laugh at you because I, I see the flattery. When y'all try to do what I do, I don't get mad at y'all. And at some point, we gotta we gotta stop. Um, just doing stuff because another person doing it. Do mm-hmm. do do what floats your boat. But not only that, where you weak at and where I'm strong at, we can learn from each other. <laughs> our, our combined collab. resources, we can collab. Like mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't always have to be a competition. Mm-hmm. It doesn't uh, be mindful of people who you always hear. I'm doing this. This what I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm this, and I'm that. <laughs> or this what you know. They, be mindful. they ain't doing this, this, and that. Look what I'm doing, yeah. man. You's a bitch. Yeah. You a bitch, dog. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Yeah, that's it, I'm telling you, you gotta watch the hate, cause y'all, y'all be forgetting about hate. Like it, every time I come on your page, you got something negative to say about somebody who's doing something that, they, that that's close to you. Man, I don't, I don't like all that. That's why mm-hmm. I throw my parties. I threw my parties in Baker. I go to when right. I start promoting. I went to New Rose. I, I, you know, I stay out y'all way because I ain't finna do all that back and forth with y'all. You see what I'm saying? I ain't finna do all that. 
this, this, and that. I went and got the, the, the headphones first. Right. Sure did. You know what I'm saying? I went and got the. I that was my down. first style of party. And I, I, I enjoyed it. You you looking around the room, you grooving them. Maybe Mary J. Blige. And then you no, look nigga, over at somebody up. doing this. <laughs> and then you look <laughs> over there, somebody is like. Yeah. And that's from traveling, D. You know. I saw it in Memphis. Innovation. I saw it in Houston. I saw it in Vegas. I travel, and I'm going to tell y'all something. I study. I, I, I've seen how much it costs. I got quotes. I went and seen how much I had to come up with. And I brought them headphones when I ain't had no money. Yeah, but that's the investment. And we need to bring them headphones out. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to Jolly with this there. We're going to do a ghetto ways. <laughs> For real. We just got to find a venue. Going, yeah, oh, but, shit. But, but, Casa Migas. Yeah, uh, Mikasa. Look, yeah. check this out. Y'all Casamigas. still, them that's headphones, they still there. That's a drunk come. Oh, uh, Casa Migas, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Mikasa Grill. But yeah, check Mikasa. this out. Them headphones still ready. I got 200 of them. Let's, let's go. Win, but I just, they just collecting dust because I'm doing all kind of stuff. We so, do but, something. Yeah, it's all smooth, man. We that, need interns. Yeah, we need interns bad. And check this out. This the other thing. If you can take me and what I do, and make more money and cut me a solid check. Come on, nigga. I, ain't, I don't have to be in charge. Don't I don't have, have the be. boss man sim- People syndrome. People can be in the background. I hate niggas who got to be, yeah, it's, it's, I'm the CEO, I'm the boss. Man, sit your insecure ass down because if the check cash and everything legit, y'all can call me the janitor, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no position. None of I that. care about feeding my family and make sure my children it's take care of It's a network. Yeah, man, if you could take getaways and do something better, nigga, fill out a job to be a CEO of this bitch. I ain't got to be in charge. Gene don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to be all in the videos. That's yeah. it. I wish I could just produce shows. <laughs> nigga, you could do this morning show better. Come on. Come on, man. This ain't, it ain't no hate over here, homie. It ain't no hate, man. I'm, I'm not on no, man, I don't like that shit. I don't like that old Charleston white ass shit. Nigga got to hate on something to be relevant. To, yeah. I'm going to show love to be relevant, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, they just wake up every day negative, negative, negative. That's why I be dipping out on some of you niggas, man. Shout out to Sonny, Walter Marshall, man. Man, tell oh, me yeah. good morning. Every morning. And God bless me and send me prayers every morning, That's what's man. up. That's my brother, man. I don't give, man, I don't give a fuck what he got going on. That's right. That nigga start selling tomatoes on airline. Be out there telling niggas, man, come get these tomatoes for Please nothing. Please come get them. Come get them, man. They fresh, homegrown out his garden. Y'all got to stop living off hate, bro. You ain't. Some of y'all don't even know you haters yet. Because they 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 coming from a hurt place. Man, go back on your page and watch all your videos and count how many positive Damn, and how many negative. negative. How many negative? I be getting stuff. When I be going through stuff, I look at certain memes and be about to post God be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's messy. God. Ah! Nah, don't you do it. Uh-uh. <laughs> you better not post that Pray, shit. Pray, put, push. Pray your way through it, baby. Don't, Man. don't, don't, don't get on that. That's why I stay off the gram, Dana, because I don't know how to <laughs> see pussy shit and not say nothing. Like, I'm trying to work on that to just, like, man, just let that shit go. I scroll right on page. Yeah, but see, then I be thinking, like, if I don't teach these kids, they be watching me. DM them. You know what I'm saying? But you I hit don't them know in a DM. That, not many, like, about 20, 30 of them to say, 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 OG, bro, I really rock with you, man. man. So I know them, but it's the ones out there that ain't reached out. And like, you know, you, know, you can reach out to me, homie, if you're trying to learn something, man. But the only thing I don't fuck with is snakes and users, man. Gold digging ass niggas that's worse than these hoes. Pussy you know what popping, what I'm dick hopping, yeah. yeah, man, ain't no hood look, hopping. You gotta come make your check with me, man. Pussy you just ain't gonna get it. You these niggas pussy pop, man. I'm oh you. yeah, they should be pregnant <laughs> with twins, or triplets. You want bust out these words? Dick dick. Okay. Know. During the during this weekend and last week, man, Ghetto Ways had one of his <laughs> most high volume. <laughs> <laughs> Content <laughs> production. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> yeah, now she on one. I'm being good today. For real. What they hear, D? <laughs> I'm thinking about must be in a dick right now. <laughs> oh, that's what you want. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I cursed my dog out there. <laughs> Man, I cursed okay, my. I'm I was sorry. on the phone with Dane. All right, I'm gonna tell you, let the people know. Like, Fuck it. She laughing at me because she we was on the phone, and my my bullet just be doing too much. Sometimes I'm like, man, go sit your dick riding ass down somewhere, man. 
all that old attention oh, around. I said, who do that to a I ain't dog? Never had, I ain't never had a dog. Dang, my mama Why was poor. Why are you man. so like, verbally abusive to the dog? Man, oh, she just too all right every time. You don't even know that who dog came. That didn't deserve that. You don't even know who that is just came over here. You don't know this. Or I, you don't know who this might be. Fucking uh, maintenance, man. Get stopped all that dick riding. Go to your, go home. Ooh. Go home, man. My bad. Ooh. I raise everybody the same way, man. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> Want no dick riding there, dog, man. You might push one of the children to commit suicide talking like oh, that. Oh, man, don't talk like that. Man. I'm it serious. Was, yeah. Everybody different. Man, the, the, the dog can't commit suicide. Man. No, you but you said you raise everybody the same. Yeah. Cheering, you don't call cheering dick riding. Yeah, like you, you dick riding, dick. you dick riding. Get off that man's dick, man. You, you know? got to stop. <laughs> I'm learning myself. You got to you have a, a filter fan, not when a it fool. comes to your children. You got to have a filter because they. my daughter sent me a meme when there was a woman and her, son, her child in the car talking about you. Y'all just give shit away free. Yeah, ask your stepdaddy how he got caught up over here. You oh, know, man. yeah. Well, you I was, don't put them cheering in that And business, I looked at her, I was like, oh my God. You know, it was, but they, she was a grown child. She was mm-hmm. our grown child talking. But this is the thing, Dana. How your cheering gonna be real if you don't show them? Like, that's what to. your daddy there for. You got to. Like, a lot of these little dudes, the reason they stay in all this beef because they act like they mama. They do. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a nigga tell you something, some shit your dad will be like, man, fuck that nigga, man. You know don't what I'm saying? Don't don't even, even, yeah. As long as he don't bring his stupid ass over here, let him talk. You hear me? As soon as he cross that line, bust him up. Bow, bow, bow. You know what I'm saying? That's what your daddy going to say. Your mama going to say, what? What you saying? Oh, I'm going to pull up. Yeah, no, the mama going to argue the whole way. Y'all niggas acting like y'all mama. That's why a nigga tell you something on Instagram and have you so fired up, you want to kill a nigga. For what, though? Behind something a nigga said on Instagram? Then the way y'all disrespecting the dead. You know what I'm saying? Smoking on the nigga man, pack. I seen a girl, man. It tripped me out. I seen a girl saying that. You know what I'm saying? Pick I'm your like, dead partner up. What? That's so man, disrespectful. You let the dead bury the dead, homie. I ain't yeah, got you the, do. Man, that's that what I say, bro. I ain't trying to whoop nobody online. I ain't trying to kill nobody online. For real. Man, let's get to these words and try to educate these people. Because the Shout out to Dadris Landry, Landis. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we get word? this word. What's the word? This word. We got this word from Dadris Lanus. Is how you pronounce it? I always it? say the Darius because of the D- D- <laughs> I, I miss my brother's name. Well, that's my too. dog, man. I, 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 I rock with it, man. The word that we got from Dadris was fudish, f- fudiciary. Fudiciary. Fudici- fudiciary. Not, not in the fudiciary, and I thought he was. He said he said feds. <laughs> For the who? What are you who got locked up? Say it again. <laughs> Fiduciary. What that mean? Yeah, well, I don't care. When I hear a big word, I'm asking. I, I don't know. know. You know, Glen Oaks did not teach me fiduciary, and Bel Air didn't either. No, we just did. We we can't blame it on the high school. We just didn't read enough, and we didn't go further our education. We were street educated. I was hot in the ass, well, yeah. that's why. All right, fiduciary. Involving trust, especially with regard to the relationship between a trustee and a beneficiary. So I guess I'm the fiduciary agent of my children's uh, future. Right. And I feel like I'm doing an okay job, but I want to do better. Uh, it's it's a second take, definition. Yeah. Well, I ain't write that the one second, The second de- definition talk about misuse. Okay. Yeah. And he was saying, I'm, I've been good on all my fiduciary, right. do, 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 right. whatever, how he, I don't even know That how wouldn't even fiduciary, it. that wouldn't even be, that's something against my fiduciary. That, no, that, I didn't agree to it because of, it wasn't fiduciary. It wasn't a fiduciary, um, something, something, something. It wasn't good for his yeah, trust, it for the beneficiary. Yeah, it wasn't oh, good. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah. And then Miss Pam came through. We giving y'all two today. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Miss Pam Johnson, number 118 on the ballot, said pedagogy. Pedagogy. I thought that was like a, a little. A pedigree? Like a pedigree. See, that's what I thought animal, like pedag- uh, pedagogy, no. like. But no, like a pedigree, like your pedigree. Meaning what your makeup is, like who you are, who like what no, all design you. No, I'm saying, okay, but what is it? The, no, I'm the, saying that's the, what pedigree means. But go ahead. That's what pedigree means. Yeah. Okay, pedagogy. What is that? Pedagogy. Pedagogy. I pedagogy. Have, pedagogy. Sound like uh, a dress <laughs> with a slip with a ruffle. I thought on it was a little life. animal, like a new little animal. Or something. Wow. Give, give, bring that. Pe- how much you want for that pedagogy? Now, nah, pedagogy is the method and practice of teaching, especially as an academic subject or theor- uh, theor- theoretical. Theoretical concept. Wow. That's what pedagogy is. It's about teaching. And guess what? She's at the school board and she know words. She run up the school board and she know words like pedagogy. I Shout out to Miss Pam because I, 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 she done seen me about 
10 times in 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 on um, juvenile court <laughs> and she's always been level-headed she's always not only sided with the mama because all, all the parents because mama or parents could be dead wrong but she's yeah. going to be definitely um she was always definitely about the better um a better life or situation for the, for the kids. Yeah. She just didn't throw them in jail. She just didn't, you know, she always was like, well, what's going on? Why this happening? Or mm-hmm. even, you know, what's, what's, what's going on with Kennedy, you know, or um, Mark, you know, mm-hmm. what's going on with, you know, why did you do this? Why, you know, why were you, you involved in this, that, and the third, you know? Yeah, and, one of my um, juveniles went through a courtroom yeah. and came out, came out fine. Yeah, you know? which had some yeah. stipulations, but she have made her a better person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Miss Pam, man. Y'all already know uh, number 118 on the ballot. And, man, go study and check out. Uh, we got some videos pull dropping. Pull the lever. Pull the <laughs> lever. Pull the <laughs> lever. That video going to drop today, too. That's going to be uh, uh, Ver- Verita Lee. Lee. Number 78 or 77 on the I don't want to say the wrong pull number. The that was so cute. Pull the lever. See, I'm going to tell you in the childhood voice. <laughs> I'm over there sitting on the other side. Recording and she said that I bust out. I'm trying not to bust out laughing. It's in the clip, you can see like everybody bust out I did, laughing. Like, I did. I looked. I say, oh, and he and the dares looked at he, he just laughed. Bust too. Out he laughed laughing. too. He laughed man, too. Man, it was it was it was high energy. Everybody was you know okay. Yes. Um, it's a different. It's it's good to have it, and I and you can see strength in in class. Yeah. You can see people you know have a difference of opinions, but can still face. You know each other's yeah. opponent. Yeah, they they uh they they well they all came in and, and got it done. Yeah, you know, and, and regardless and some, of all the smear yeah. campaigns yeah. that's going on around. I tell you this, though, I respected his his, his, his uh him his patience. Uh, I respected his stance. He, he he didn't try to go back and forth, and he totally respected and look up to a lover. And, and I uh, and I admired that. And I really I got to say that you know it was a tax here and there. Now he did he kept he he wasn't going at me. Lee, you going to hear? It. <laughs> yeah, he did. He he, he, fo- he 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 focused his attention on who was really behind what it was. In in his mm-hmm. opinion, I don't know you know all the ins and outs of it because bigger I, man I, than me. I'm not mm-hmm. living. I'm not living. Um. His, 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 you know, what he going through on his side, and I'm not living what she going through on her side. Yeah, being yeah. accusing, I, I know accusing hurts, though. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, I'd have been falsely yeah. accused a lot. Yeah, I know accusing yeah. hurts, so. And I you, know what I, you know what I like about rumors? I want to tell people that. When a false rumor come out about you, don't say shit. It's hard, though. I know it's hard, but I'm going to tell you what it do. Your real solid people, They're going to defend you. Your folk. They coming out there. You ain't got to ask they're them They're going to defend you. And that's what you need to see. You need to see, oh, there go my love. And right. see them old fake-ass niggas like, damn, Domino did that, did that. So you don't know me. And you ain't even call and ask me because some shit fit my character. But it ain't my work. You feel what I'm saying? And then some shit just I ain't never did. You feel what I'm saying? Man, I heard some rumors about me, man. I ain't never, I'm talking about from the jailhouse hall. I don't know who in that line and... Man, the jailhouse, boy, I'm glad, boy, I only needed one police officer. The jailhouse you know, talk about run me ups. so crazy, man. People they, run up. Man, you know, they, in jail, everything is always bigger than what it really was. Mm. Yeah, now it's going to have a break, and you actually had it was maybe getting out. <laughs> man, go sit down. <laughs> you, yeah, like, go sit down, bro. Like, we, hey. it, it, you kill one one person, <laughs> uh, dog. And you didn't you got a whole graveyard Three now. Bodies. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> hey man, hey man, you do all that line and put my name in it. You know I'm gonna tell the truth when they come ask me, right? Oh, I ain't gonna say nothing at all, right? You ain't gotta defend yourself yeah. when you. No, I'm talking step. about you know, know you got them partners that kind of fluff shit up. Yeah, man, you know it was like a hundred keys over there one time. <laughs> I ain't never got there, homie. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all something in them streets. They told on Pablo Escobar. Go ahead and retire. They sure did. You ain't gonna ever get that. Nobody is gonna get that big. Not not in this See, day and age. Our our our. I mean, we ought to look at some of those the great indictments that came down on on our on our ghetto superstars mm. like like Craig Gaines, like you More know rats Jeff than Perry, real niggas. More you know, rats than real niggas. Like like Tulu and Rico. More rats than real yeah, niggas. Yeah. So you know we we can we can look at their cases and see that. You know how people folded. Yeah. How, you know, so I mean, it, it, it. Pablo Escobar was so far. Pablo Escobar was the truth. 
Man, that man Ooh. built his own jail. No, listen, this, the built only, his own jail. The only person that's gonna ever get close to being that big is gonna be a computer hacker. Like the dudes who be hey. doing that, that crypto, this, they, like the, this is not that. There's cameras everywhere. That's why I don't know why the police hate getaways and being on camera. Y'all crooks. There's ca- doorbell cameras everywhere, everywhere, red light cameras everywhere. You got business cameras over here. They camera phones. This place is a big old camera. Crime is on the on the verge. It, 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 I, to me, bro, as old as I am, bro, I don't see how I, I got. That's why I'm pushing pushing legal. I'm pushing legal. Now I still support my drug dealers because I know. That's what make the economy good. Cause everything else, they sucking the money out of the damn economy. Stop the poisoning people, though. Yeah, no. Nah, stop I, doing I, shortcuts. Yeah, man, don't. Do, please stop playing with the weed. <sighs> you a low scumbag to spray weed with anything, man. Grow your own. Go get man. you one of them stamps from down there at the Louisiana Agriculture Building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pat been telling us about that for years. I get my uh yeah. my smoke off a of card now. But yeah. I'm telling y'all, dog. That's right. They lock up all the good weed dealers and then here come these uh fentanyl spraying niggas, man. It's just bad, bro. It bad. It's a process, man. Like what man, what, what we need to research like why we why why black folk can't have no growth or, or no no dispensary. Well, who say you I won't see why ain't nobody got one now. Mike, what, what the Mike, license? Mike Tyson got one. Mazi. I'm talking about Louisiana. Oh, I, well, I can't deal with that. It's not too many dispensaries here, but we need to focus yeah, on LSU that. and Southern. Yeah, but we need to. We, we need to get away dispensary. We okay. Well, we need to buy land. We Gene? need to. We need to. We need to find greenhouses. Yeah. We need no, to we're gonna do, build a greenhouse. Yeah, yeah, and, and a space for the greenhouse. I got growers. Okay, and then and then there's some hydro stuff that's out now where you don't even need too much. You just need mm. the machine, and it's gonna produce its own ecosystem. To, you don't have to water it. Man, I'm talking about. I, I'm it's talking gonna about. do whatever it needs to do. I don't let people know my life, but since I'm retired now, man, I know some growers. I was licensed in Oregon. I know some stuff, well, man. We need to get it together. But if it ain't legal, I ain't fooling with it. We gotta get it together. I want to sell weed legally. That's what I want to do. I want to get my uh, getaway dispensary. That's gonna be on getaways farms. I think we need to start with getaways farms. Huh? That'll be rough. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, check yeah. this out. Any closing thoughts, D? Um, free my people, man. True. Free my people. Rest in peace to my people. Keep it, th- keep it, just keep it a stack. Um, find new ways to reinvent yourself. Um, without hating, mm. find other ways to to uh expand your horizons. And be good to people. Mm-hmm. You know, find find a way to help somebody when you don't when you when you when nothing when you expecting nothing in return. Yeah. I went to go pay for something three days in a row last week. I went to go order food and the person in front of me was like, I got her food. Mm. You know, I went to, to the store the other day to pick up a t-shirt because I needed a shirt. Mm-hmm. And the person walked in the store, saw me, came back here. Take this, pay for your shirt. You always helping people. Straight you up. You never know who watching you. Oh man, and I didn't know we had that many older people either that, that really follow the they show. They do. Man. They be in the stores, man. But check this out. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube and check out Judy uh, with the Check on Your People show. She, uh, she with has Gino. the second highest uh, viewership. On our brand new page, and you know that page, our YouTube page is growing. Make sure you subscribe. subscribe. And shout out to Marlon Joseph Forty Two. That's one of our new talents, and we 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 signing about four more people. Uh, hopefully, before this month go out, when we check their character and see where they are at. That's so right. check this out. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Getaways Morning Show. I'm your host Johnny Domino, and I'm Big Dana, and we out. We out. I'm